I'm Julia Gomez. Okay, and uh, you were in a short film recently, weren't you? Yes, it was called Limbo. Limbo? Okay, and it was kind of funny because nobody from the film except you were there to represent it, is that correct? Yeah, they weren't able to make it. So you went up in front of the audience and you told us all about the movie. Yep. So can you do that to the camera now? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. The movie's about me and my brother who accidentally kills me and about car safety and drug safety. Okay, go ahead. What happened in the movie? Well, th there's a part of the movie that has a flashback where he accidentally kills me because I wasn't wearing my seatbelt and he gets in a car crash. He gets depressed, so then he starts getting on drugs and he moves out of home. And I go back, limbo, and tell him that my family misses him and that he should go back and that he should stop all this nonsense and that... His family misses him. So you actually died in the movie and you went to Limbo, which is a place between what? Heaven life and hell? And death. Oh, life and death. Okay. Not heaven and hell. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, so you went to Limbo. And in Limbo, you appeared to him in a dream or something? or? Yeah, he started imagining me. He started imagining you. Okay. Uh, so what was your experience like with this role? It was really cool. Um, I met them only about once before the, before actually filming it, but it, it, it felt like family already. We, we shot in the heart of downtown, but the, the apartment, it was like an apartment slash loft. It was awesome. There was this big wall and you could see whole downtown and it was really cool. And what were the directors like? and the producers and the people that you worked with? Well, Elena was the producer and Jeffra was the director and they were so kind. Um, I had met Jeffra at a recent film by, um, by another director called Sergei, which is friends with Jeffra, and that's how I met Jeffra, and then that's how I got the part. And they are so nice. Alana makes me, Alana and feel, my mom actually gets jealous because she's like, she's your second mom, so, uh, yeah. She doesn't get angry. No, but <laughs> as a joke. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, well, how much do you like acting and what do you want to do with your life? Oh, I love acting. I've loved it since I was like three. Why? It, it, I, I always want, it, the cool thing is you can just get out of your life and be someone else. You can just start over. And, and since I was little, I looked at those people and I'm like, I want to be on television. I want people to know my name. So since, since really young, I always wanted to. So do you want, are you more interested in being famous or are you interested in being the character in a story? No, being the character. Being the character. You don't want to be stupid and famous like a lot of people. No. I don't want to turn out one of those, one of those, um, first being a child actress when you grow up, get, and get into drugs and bad stuff. I don't want that to happen. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea either. But uh, is your mom and dad uh, very uh, good about talking to you about what yeah, can happen? Yeah, they're always talking about me and, and talking to me and saying that I should definitely um, be careful and not do anything bad. Don't turn out one, like one of those other child actresses. And yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's good. That sounds like good advice. Um, so, what do you like to do other than act? What do you do? I like reading. Reading? Reading. Wow, that's unusual. Uh, <laughs> most kids are playing video games now. No, I was never that fond of video games. I, my brother's the fond, the one that's fond of video games. He's always buying new ones. Once, and once in a while, I play with him, but I usually like locking myself in my room and reading. <laughs> what kind of uh, books do you read? I, I really like realistic fiction, but I read all types. 
Okay, well, it sounds like you're on the right track then, and you're going to have a fun life. Thank you.